time. Yeah. Yeah, and the hub, a lot of people at the hub, you told me, are uh, non-profit uh, organization also who are trying to change the world, correct? That is the, that, that is the uh, theme of the hub. Yeah. And it's also a general uh, trend, major trend in San Francisco yeah. that uh, is increasing. You, you can see that after the dot-com uh, market crash, mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of people were, you know, um, in transition. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they they were all excited about business. They were all excited about the internet. They were all started starting up some business that would change the market or change, you know, change the world or change the way people talk to each other, that kind of a thing. So then all of a sudden, um, you know, business, you know, it just turned into like, you know, like a money generating, you know, focused thing and mm -hmm. they lost the kind of the you know the the excitement and enthusiasm uh and so what happened is you had a lot of these young talented people they started looking at the nonprofit world at the mission driven world saying okay maybe i could start up some kind of an enterprise and instead of making you know, money help yeah, the world yeah instead of you know trying to you know increase the market share of Pepsi Cola instead of Coca Cola. Right. I could figure out how to do some of the things that actually need to be done. Okay. So you know, uh, there's six billion people in the world. Uh, a lot of three problems. P half of the people are living, you know, on less than two dollars a day. Yeah. And there's a billion, a little bit over a billion, that are living on less than a dollar a day. Yeah. So there's a lot of things to be done. There's a lot of you know, pe there's a lot of people who don't have access to clean water. Yeah. There's a lot of people who don't have access to basic education. There's a lot of you know, uh, you know, people who have, don't have access to uh, basic uh, health care. Yeah. Uh, and uh, that's in America too. <laughs> and everybody is more connected now, not only through the internet but through uh, through uh, cell phones. Uh, so you actually have the ability to communicate, to communicate, uh, to collaborate, and to start up a social enterprise in San Francisco that might be focused on providing, you know, universal access to clean water to everybody which everywhere. Which they do now, which they do now. I mean, there's water.org, I mean. Right, that's kind of the theme of, uh, th that's this trend in San Francisco. A lot of these young and, you know, and old, you know, smart, talented people are taking their- Energy, you know, yeah. Taking their energy, and then they're using the resources of business and marrying them with the mission of nonprofit organizations, okay. and they're creating these new kinds of social businesses or social enterprises focused on changing the world. Nice. And what? Yeah, a lot, of, a lot of young people at the hub. I noticed a absolutely. lot of young people, like twenties. Uh, I mean, twenty plus. Yeah. Even when I was organizing in the in the uh, in the web business, yeah. you know, I was like this old, you know, hippie guy. I was like, you know, in my forties. You know, uh, and uh, I would organize, I organized the San Francisco Web Business Mixer at Internet Cafes every month for like four years in San Francisco. Uh, you know, and it was great community organizing. It was organizing in business. I had a background in organizing in this business for social responsibility, you know, network and with business partnership for peace. So I was interested, you know, I was excited about the business. It was kind of you know, I had a I had this experience working uh, for the Association of Internet Professionals, so I was organizing these web business people. You know, but they were all young people, and they all, none of them had any hair. <laughs> they were all like, I don't know what the, the the style was keeping your hair very short. Okay. You know, even a lot of you know young guys with you know shaved heads. I couldn't tell if they were going bald early and they just decided to shave their head completely. Oh, I remember that era. Everybody you know? was shaving, yeah. And, you know, but anyway. Uh, but you have long hair, right? I mean, but, you're a hippie. Yeah. yeah, but anyway, so somehow, you know, so, uh, anyway, I'm familiar with it. I'm used to organizing, working with a lot of young people, even though I'm a, a big old dinosaur. Your hair? <laughs> okay. Well, it has been very... Um, I would say uh, eye-opening to talk to you on all these things that I didn't quite uh, figure out or understand fully. So now I understand better what uh, that organization La Raza is, what is We Are One, which is, uh, I don't know if I understand it, but this says respect so our rights. The National uh, Labor Community Coalition for Defending Labor Rights. Okay, and then uh, there is also 
uh, the one organization that's also a nonprofit and that it's is... It's focused on global poverty issues. It's started by uh, Bono, and it's a national network uh, of anti-poverty. It's a, the, the national United States kind of network of the white okay. band anti-poverty groups. And finally, the last one is what you're going to be organizing, which is the Big Meetup. The Big Meetup. And do you have a website for that, thebigmeetup.com, or not yet? I have a website for it, but I, I have the domain, but I haven't built it yet. Okay, so, so you it's, it's in construction. So we'll have to, we'll have, maybe we could do this again Yeah. at the Big Meetup. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. Uh, so we At have the a, hub, at the Big Meetup. Exactly, so we have an appointment right there. Okay, so see you all at the Big Meetup organized by Brian Webster at the hub. So watch uh, news on brianwebster.com and uh, he'll keep you updated. So thank you so much for being here. That's been uh, uh, very interesting to talk about all the things you do to improve uh, our communities and the world in general. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, Aileen, for the opportunity. It's you know, it's been, it's a lot of fun. It's phenomenal. Yeah. And it's fun. Uh, as you can see, is one thing I like to do is talk. Yeah. yeah. So thank so, you so much for the opportunity. No problem. Thank you very much.